So E3's been the last few days and it's wrapping up here as of today when you're watching this, but for the most part, Call of Duty today hasn't really had much stuff front and center. Though, truth be told, that's kind of how this entire E3 went, which it's kind of strange that Infinity Ward and Call of Duty had such a small part this year because usually COD is a centerpiece of E3 with reveals and such, and while the whole industry debuts some absolutely mega pieces of intel, stuff that absolutely dwarfs Call of Duty, by no means am I trying to say that Call of Duty is a front and centerpiece of E3 itself, but rather it presents a lot of stuff at E3 that it's a centerpiece for its own marketing. It's interesting to see that we didn't get all that much out of what is normally a larger time in the marketing. So what's weird this time around is that Sony nor Activision were even a huge presence. As opposed to in the past, both Activision has had their own booth as well as Sony and PlayStation have been huge headlines there. However, this year is a little bit more low key, a little cooler of an approach. And to my knowledge, Activision still had a smaller, more exclusive office space for some previews in the upper levels of the convention center as they normally do, but nothing was shown publicly. No gameplay, no demos, no hands-on, nothing. Instead, we got a bit of the Infinity War team that sat down and discussed a little bit of what's to come and some, but if you follow the channel or other Call of Duty channels in the community, you probably already know about some of that information, but it was more of a general and mainstream foray into the information, telling the masses, not just those that follow journalism sites and content creators. So where is the gameplay? Where is the juicy and beefy parts that we all love and hope to see every single year? Where were the campaign missions? Where was any of it? Today, we're going to break down all of that and discuss the timeline of events that we may very well be seeing in the upcoming months here with Modern Warfare as we draw slowly but surely closer to the release of the game in the end of October. But before we do that, a quick little mention if you guys are interested at all in G Fuel, from now until Monday morning, the 17th of June, my code ESPRESSO is 30% off your entire order as opposed to just the standard 10% that it normally is. So if you're interested in trying it out for the first time, getting a restocker, just wanting to check out a new flavor, now's as best a time as ever. But let's get into the info at hand. Like we said, there really was no presence of this game outside of the general information. Now, just a quick recap, we did actually get a few things shared that we didn't know beforehand, so we'll brief that and then talk about the timetable coming up. But other things, we got some additional character information that we ended up seeing and we'll see through the gameplay come launch. We ended up getting more information about how all modes are synonymous in progress, that being, for example, MP, co-op, and campaign. If you end up using a weapon, it will then progress through all three of those main modes. It's all one world. So therefore, if you end up progressing one thing, it'll transfer over and be progressed in another part. As for the co-op, we actually did get a little bit, and I mean a very little bit, of information on the co-op. We did find out that it is indeed Spec Ops, but it is something that it's going to be Spec Ops like we've never seen before, apparently, from what we're told. So maybe an open world Spec Ops, maybe something that's just way larger and way more in-depth, something that is way more challenging. We don't know exactly, but it's certainly something to consider for those that are interested and have a sweet spot in their heart for co-op then we ended up getting actually two teasers for mp screenshots and what's crazy is that these were base ps4 screenshots and they look fantastic like it's actually insane how good these look but that said that was the only stuff we got on mp here for this again i wasn't expecting much out of it but kind of crazy to think about that is how good the game will look on a base ps4 then also the kind of coup de gras here for this and kind of rounding us into the timetable they ended up saying gameplay will be shown when they're ready to show it so of course that's kind of like hey we're dictating the terms we're going to show it when we want to I don't think that this necessarily means that it's something that the game is unfinished. I know there's a lot of people jumping to that conclusion. I think there was the quick little mention somebody said the words pre pre alpha or something like that. But truth be told, dude, honestly, I think that terminology should be taken a little more loosely than taking it as gospel. For example, whenever I went out and saw Black Ops 4 early at the reveal event in May of last year, or whenever I saw World War II before the beta or something like that, Black Ops 4 is probably a better example though, because that was actually even listed in the gameplay play up in the top throughout the reveal and then up until the actual launch there was the state of the game so it said beta in the beta it said pre-alpha in the reveal and from discussions with developers they had actually just pulled that out of pre-pre-alpha for that reveal state so in that sense the game played really well even in that early build of it so it's not like it's going to be something where it's the bare minimum or they're going to be trying to rush through everything here at this if i were to guess it's probably something that does play very fluidly it just lacks some of the graphics fidelity that you may expect on a completely polished version and you can see that kind of stuff even with black ops 4's reveal gameplay it's just not as fine-tuned or as detailed as it is in the gameplay that we see now 
but again that's because it's pre-alpha so i would expect this not really to be as much of an indication or bad omen and sign of something incomplete so much as it's literally just a developmental term but anyways timetable if we don't see one e3 when can we expect something truth be told the campaign's actually kind of throwing me for a little bit of a trip because that's always been a centerpiece we always normally get something at e3 if there is a campaign naturally last year we didn't have a campaign so it was mp shown off instead of campaign at e3 but outside of that we normally do get some campaign footage at e3 so on the campaign side we're gonna kind of take this one a little more loosely because it realistically could be dropped at any point but it also seems like we're loosely following traditional marketing from older Call of Duty games. Black Ops 4 really shifted things in the marketing focus. It was the first time that we had seen since the very, very early days. I think it was Call of Duty 1 or 2 that launched in October, but it was the first time that, that had happened. Everything else has been in November before that. So it was obviously a naturally an original push up of everything to begin with, but then we saw things like the name confirmed and revealed in March. So it definitely threw everybody for a trip we'd never seen gameplay play in May that's usually reserved to the later portions of summer but now that Modern Warfare is releasing just about a week out from that standard first week of November release that we'd seen predating Black Ops 4 it kind of falls back more in line now with that previous marketing strategy to which gameplay for campaign again admittedly I have no idea on this one because normally I would have expected to see it at E3 so maybe that is used as some sort of filler content here within the upcoming weeks because we do have that bigger update for Black Ops 4 at the end of the month probably the 20th 25th and then I think it's the 9th or so that Tuesday is when Operation 5 kicks in for Black Ops 4 but then outside of that we're gonna have some downtime we could have something drop maybe next week because that's the one week out portion before when contracts and things are introduced maybe we end up seeing something like the 16th or maybe we end up seeing something like the second leading up right before the launch of Operation 5 but get a little bit more information in there as for MP and co-op though that's something that we could probably get a little bit more of a relative of grasp on when we can actually see that because normally if we take a look at the marketing calendar for how these things normally happened not necessarily saying there isn't those anomalies that would be a little bit different but the general average of things before black ops 4 would usually end up seeing mp right around the time of gamescom admittedly call of duty world war 2 did have gameplay at e3 for mp but that was something they were trying to quickly shift the focus from infinite warfare to what was then a return of the roots as they branded it with call of duty world war 2 so they were trying to garner as much hype as they could and as fast as possible but when you take a look at older games gamescom right around then is kind of that landing spot this normally is like an e3 but an international stage for it this time around it's on august 21st of 2019 but i can't imagine that we hold off that long i would expect there to be something of a reveal of some sorts and maybe even the announcement of a beta if there is one which personally i'm okay if there's not one I know that might be an unpopular opinion, but I feel like the less we know, the more hype there is for actual launch. And therefore, from everybody's perspective, hopefully people enjoy it more. But that said, it might be something that we end up seeing gameplay very early August, mid-August, maybe even late July. But I wouldn't really expect anything MP-wise until then. As for co-op, well, this is where, again, we kind of come back to the form of the older marketing style. Black Ops 4 Zombies, obviously, we saw it very early on. We saw it May 17th of last year. World War II Zombies, we knew what was going to be happening we knew zombies was going to be that co-op mode from as early as i believe the full reveal event but we didn't have any gameplay or anything up until right before launch if i'm not mistaken infinite warfare zombies i'm pretty sure we saw a little bit of that trailer and some footage there within the summer but then older co-ops weren't revealed until the very end and right before launch advanced warfares actually was an entirely different mode something of a smoke screen if you will because it was supposed to be a launch surprise or was meant to be it was hidden behind the first few levels of exo survival all throughout the marketing material it was hyped up that we'd end up having campaign multiplayer and a co-op but nothing was really said on this and then a couple of days before this actually happened there were leaks that early copies went out and people were like wow it's actually just survival kind of a letdown but people went along with it and then unfortunately i do remember some of the developers actually getting pretty bummed out about this which if you're holding a really well-kept secret like that it is unfortunate to see it spoiled before it's supposed to be revealed but it was something 
something that was mind-blowing to the people that ended up finding this before launch because you found a cutscene that led right from the Manticore bomb going off the final level of Exo Survival to leading to everybody being affected and therefore the zombie storyline that we followed the rest of that game. Extinction was kind of the same way where we had absolutely no information on it up until I think what was Halloween a couple of days before the launch of Ghosts that year. So this kind of stuff might follow the same similar patterns where we end up seeing co-op very, very late on out of the marketing. Maybe towards the end of summer, maybe mid-summer, we end up seeing some MP stuff and a lot of C campaign can drop at any time. So Infinity Ward, if you're uh if you're listening to this, feel free to, man. I'm I'm all ears. I, I would love to I would love to hear about that and see some of that. So that's where we're gonna wrap it up though. I kind of want to give you guys my little headspace here on this where I'm at and trying to kind of decipher when to expect things. But while unfortunately we didn't get anything at E3. Outside of that campaign mission, it's kind of standard for the other parts of the game. Campaign, I still don't understand why nothing was shown off, but I guess we'll see that soon. But of course, it might just be because of the marketing of other things. So we'll have to see how it fits into the calendar and timetable of everything with Black Ops 4 getting another title update in a couple of days here. And then, of course, Operation 5 kicking off at the beginning of July. We'll see how all that kind of stuff works out, but that's where we're going to wrap it up. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss single thing regarding all things modern warfare content anything in relation to updates news information all that good stuff we got you covered here on the channel so if any of that interests you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing if you guys also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with that on youtube probably can live on both those if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below but all that's that now is what i think guys also much for watching my espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace